Hey Brahmas, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use OneSearch to look for peer reviewed articles in the field of psychology. Starting in the library's homepage, you're going to see OneSearch as the box or search bar in the middle of our homepage. And we're going to type some of the essential concepts of your research question. I'm going to pretend that I'm working on a paper where I'm exploring the relation between racism and Latinos. So since those are my two main concepts, it would make sense to use those two keywords. And I'm just going to type that in. And you don't have to play with the everything attributes. Everything should be fine. And once you click search, OneSearch is a search engine that looks across all of our databases at the same time. So it will give you different types of results, such as ebooks, magazines, newspapers, and academic journals. That said, we can always go back to the search bar and change the combination of our keywords if we find more specific um, keywords that match the concepts of our research question. But for now, I want to show you the mechanics of OneSearch. Before we start looking at all of the results, it would help you to go to the left side and click on the filters, scholarly journals, and articles. By applying those two filters, OneSearch will only show you academic articles that were published in peer-reviewed journals. And you can also identify that by the purple icon that says peer-reviewed. Now, another way to filter your results, especially if you have many, like 17,000, you can go to the publication date and try to narrow the publication um, years of the sources that you're looking at. So I'm going to say that I only want to look at anything published since 2010 up until 2021. If I click on refined, that should narrow down my results. And at the very least, I know that I'm not looking at old research published before 2010. Now, there could still be a lot of titles and articles uh, that you can look at um, by scrolling down. Um, but one thing that you could also do in the left side tools is under subject, since your research assignment is coming from the angle of psychology, you could select the subject filter of psychology and apply that just to make sure that all of the articles that you're looking at are coming from a psychology related journal. So now I would feel a little bit more comfortable going down the list of articles to see um, if any of them match the research question that I have in mind. So let's say that this first one really intrigues you. By clicking on the title, you're opening the record of this article within OneSearch, but OneSearch is going to connect you to the database that's hosting that article. So in this case, if I wanted to open the full text of this article, I would have to click on EBSCO Psych Articles. So by clicking on that, it, OneSearch is going to take you to the login page of that database. And for peer students, your username is your student ID number, and your passcode is your month and date of birth, just four digits without the year. So now that I logged into that database, I can see once again that article. And to quickly open the full text of it, you can see the PDF icon. And at this point, when you do find an article that you feel that matches your research question, you should always email it to yourself because our databases can give you the citation of that article, which is not always 100% correct, but it's a pretty good citation to start off so that you have something to track the sources that you're going to use in your references page. So now that I have opened the full text article, you usually see um, an abstract, 
And maybe the first paragraphs are the introduction, even if they don't label it as such. But with peer-reviewed research, especially in the field of psychology, if you're looking for original research, which tends to be empirical research, you would scroll down until you see a heading that says method or methodology. So this is a section that will tell you what kind of methodology the researchers of this article used to explore their thesis. And this usually, um, no, this certifies that this is a peer-reviewed article from an empirical research um, context. Now, if we wanted to email it to ourselves on the right-hand side in this EBSCO database, you'll see the email button, and you can always choose the citation that you're using. I would say stick to APA 7th, as most um, psychology professors um, ask for that. And then you just put any email address under email to, and then maybe you can make a comment in the subject line or the comments um, section in case you really want to explore um, that article first. Because if you email yourself a dozen articles, you do want to keep track of like which ones were the really good ones that you saw when you were exploring our databases. That said, um, you can also go back to the record of the article. And the record can be useful because it tells you, for example, how many authors there are, where this article was published, in this case, Psychology of Men and Masculinities uh, from 2011, so not too old. Usually you'll see the abstract again in the record. You'll see some keywords that might help you brainstorm on your research question and the concepts. Um, and helpful later for the um, citation, the record also contains the digital object identifier, or DOI, which usually comes at the end of the full text citation for peer-reviewed articles. So that is how OneSearch works. And even before you open the specific database that is hosting that article, you can also email yourself the record from OneSearch directly if you don't have time to open that database at that moment. Um, and also OneSearch gives you a citation, which once again might not be 100% correct, so you should always double check them, but it's good to have something to start off. And also with OneSearch, if you scroll down the record, sometimes you will see other keywords or subject headings that might help you brainstorm about the concepts and your research question.